Do I still feel? Um, yeah, shoot, I, I get nervous before every game. That's, that's one of those things about the NFL is it's tough. And, you know, I, I think the day you stop feeling that, I, I think you, you lose a lot more about the game. And it, it means everyone still cares. Everyone s- still means a lot to everyone, no matter how many games you've played in. You have to go out there and you have to be on your stuff all week. When you uh, go in the, before the game, when you talk to guys and try to post a video of you giving the speech before the last game, does, does that get any more, you get any more comfortable doing that, like now that you're, you've been doing it for a while? Um, I, yeah, I think it's just experience and just going out there and, and being yourself. And I think as, as you go on, you're going to get better at everything, hopefully, as long as you're working hard and doing everything you can on and off the field. Um, but I think that's just part about being football, about being the quarterback of, you know, stepping up and, and leading and doing everything you can. Um, but uh, I, I didn't see the video, and I, hopefully I didn't say anything, anything too bad. So They bleeped out the curse at the end. I probably said dang or uh, shoot. Uh, it was a little worse than that. I think it Football. That's, football, <laughs> Justin's different, so. Do you, do you, do you remember the, the first time you did that, what, what it was like when you spoke to the guys before a game? Um, in, like, in my career in high school? Uh, in NFL. No, I, I don't remember. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Who you did in high school? Uh, yeah, it was, it was always breaking down the team of just – whether it was, it was me or another player or another captain, um, you know, we had a, a few guys that would go up and, and say some things before the game and just get them ready and get everyone going on on the field. You were in a lot of plays this past week on, with 2-1 personnel. Um, how much, which is something you guys hardly did last season, for a quarterback in an offense, how much can that help maybe in terms of balance where they might be expecting a running play, but you could pass, and it just seems like a balanced formation or personnel. Yeah, I think that's what Coach Roman is trying to set up. You know, he's having that understanding of, hey, we're going to have a great run game, and um, a great run game means a great play-action pass game. And so as long as we're able to run the ball, um, you know, throw in some great play-action pass um, and mix in the intermediate, short game, long game, um, you know, I think that's a, a balanced offense and holding everyone accountable to, hey, this is what we can do. We're not always going to do the same thing week to week, but being able to strategize and, and get going for, for each specific game plan, you know, I think it's only going to help us as an offense. Just with, uh, with Quinton, you guys were able to get him involved on some crossing routes, drag routes, get the ball in his hands. Just uh, what excites you the most about sort of the way that maybe you guys are using Quinton this year and, and what he could be, you know, in, in yards after catch? Yeah, situation? yeah, I think there were some, some pretty simple passes, you know, shallows, um, hitches, and, and you saw what he did with it. He, he took it for 16 and, t- and 13. and. Um, whenever you're able to break a tackle where it should have been a six, eight-yard gain um, and get some extra yards, I think that's huge. And it, it keeps the, the chains moving, keeps us moving, um, and just adds overall depth to our offense. Where you guys had to stick it out like that. Does, does that benefit you guys going forward? Yeah, I think it's huge. You know, not every game is going to be pretty in the NFL. And, and obviously, we, we want to do a lot better on offense. Um, but the defense, it was awesome to see those guys play out there, go out there, play super tough physical defense, get some turnovers. Um, and, you know, we're looking for our shot when, hey, the offense is able to carry the weight. Um, you know, you don't always want to have to rely on the defense like that, but uh, that's the way the game goes sometimes, and, and we're going to do everything we can to be the best offense, move the ball, score in the red zone, um, and limit those turnovers. With back-to-back East Coast games coming up, you guys are staying in Charlotte next week. With a, with a new team and new coaching staff, just how much do you think that will help in terms of camaraderie and build stuff up? Because teams hardly go out of town for training camp anymore where a lot of that team building would happen then and it doesn't happen as much anymore. Yeah, I, th- I think it will be awesome. Um, you know, I think it's a great opportunity. It's just like training camp. It's going out there and, and focusing on just football. And it helps us, obviously, Coach Harbaugh was telling us, you know, his mindset behind staying over there for, for back-to-back East Coast games. and. He said, we're going to bring some board games, bring some football, watch your laptops, and um, keep moving it. So it'll be fun. What board game were you bringing? Uh, if I had to bring a board game, I would bring uh, Settlers of Catan. Thank you. <laughs> you think it'll be similar like a bowl trip for you? That's actually what he mentioned in the team meeting. He told us it was a, a bowl trip without the bowl um, responsibilities. So it's playing football, and you don't have to worry about all that extra stuff, and just go out there and watch your stuff. and. Um, practice, go home, study, and then hang out with the guys and do it again the next day. No. 
bowl, bowl trips. And well, yeah, yeah, depending on which bowl you go to, I guess. Um, but no, as, as long as we're over there and, and we're doing our stuff and, and making sure that we're getting the, the film, watching, watching the film, weights, um, you know, I think the guys will be happy with that. Chess. Are, are you a chess player? Um, I've played it. I wouldn't say that uh, you know, I, I play it very much. we got a couple guys. Rashawn Slater, he's, he's pretty good. Zion as well. Um, definitely two big chess players. Awesome. Thank you.